Hello Twitch, Retro Prime here. Uh, I'm going to play a bit of a uh, State of Decay 2 because I like this game. Standard Dread Zone Nightmare. Um, I don't think I've played. Oh, better turn my sound on on my phone. Um, I don't think I've played the Juggernaut edition of this, so I'll go with Standard. Uh, I updated it when the the Standard uh, when the Juggernaut uh, edition came out, and I think I had a five minute mess around, but I've not really played it since, so I've deleted my previous games. Love this game, but I'm terrible at this game, so as you will see, I'll stream for about maybe an hour, I hope. What time is it? Half six, half four? Mm, maybe, maybe a bit less, but uh, let's see. Uh, traits, I will medicine, cardio, wits, fight now. No, 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 no. Uh, shooting, cardio, no. In Sunday way. It's, it's better to have at least one character who's who's got an empty trait slot or skill slot, so you can choose a sort of specialist skill, like computing and stuff or or engineering later. Um, take her. I'll take. Yeah, I could do with someone who's not just shooting. Uh, mechanics. I'll take that. I'll take that. Right, that'll do. Yes, let's go. It's fine when it comes to building up your statues. It's easy to do. Uh, just uh, so it's no the base stats don't really matter that much as far as I'm concerned. Um, maybe. And we're maybe empty when it again. And we're empty again. So yeah, when it comes to it, when it's uh, stamina, that can be a bit uh, an arse at the start if you've not got a lot of it. Your characters get tired really quickly and stuff. Um, I have a better idea. Again, it can be built up. We could settle down here instead of moving on. I'll skip this. I admit, I've just seen it. The last couple of towns we came through. Now that you mention it, it does feel kind of homey. It does feel kind of homey. This I can't do an American accent. We just have to find a spot that's defensible, maybe with some room to expand. Ah, <sighs> like nice cup of tea there. Nice cup of tea. Right here we go. I'm controlling this lady. Yeah, so let's go find our base to begin with. Down in RB, open the radio menu to see your I'm new, abil sorry, new ability. I have a new ability? No, I don't. I don't remember what the run button is. What do? It's been a while since I've played this. When I first got Game Pass, um, and this wasn't on it, I, I, I ooh, rest. zombie. Oh, zombies! Da run! I completely forgot this was a zombie game, to be honest. <laughs> and when I first played the the uh, the first one, the State of Decay, and it's it's, it's different for this. It's um, it's more missiony based than it's what I've played anyway. Than it is. This is kind of open world, sort of do your own thing, try and survive, choose your own path, choose your own quest. Whereas the first one was more like follow a linear route. Like certainly, I, uh, I was tutorialized the crap at me before. Um. When I started playing it, so but it was on Game Pass, and I think what I did was, as you do with most games, when you've got that much to go a choice, like I collect, I've collected games all my life, and I've got like a, a room filled with games, and I'll sit on a sort of a night time when everyone's in bed and go, mm, I want to play something, then I look and I'm like, oh, I've nothing to play, I don't know what to play, because it's a sort of paralysis of choice. Um, oh, come on, it's the same with Game Pass. You got a Game Pass, you play a game. You download it, you play it for two seconds, and you're like, uh, oh, kind of if I like this or no, so I'll just I'll, I'll download something else and see if I like that better. And you didn't really give things a chance. Um, I certainly did that with State of Decay 1. Yeah, then this came out and it was... It was, uh, different and better, and I kind of like the way it works. Um, gotta check out other rooms here. I think I actually have to step into the bedroom. Hello, can I interest you in some cheese? See this this character's like stamina's drains really low. Means you're out in the field, you, get, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble when you've not got uh, stamina and you're surrounded by zambos. Yeah, this game, this game, I like this game. Granted, ninety percent of the games I like, I'm bad at. I, I'm not a I'm not a competent gamer, shall we say? Um, I don't really. Is that us? Let's claim this. Claim this bit as our base. I'm not really. I dig in. Well, a lot of games I dig into the minutia of it. I don't really get into the, the workings of it, and I kind of skip how things are done because I'm, I'm too impatient. I don't savor games. 
I think I've done it with this one. Right, let's see, what, what's it say we need? Optional. Use a survey point, such as a welcome sign billboard, to scout locations for uh, materials, or scavenge nearby site for rucksack materials. Right. The like, for example, the first one, the first one I played through in this game. Um, right. Where are we going? Uh, I'll just open the map. Let's go here. The uh, the first one I played this game, I didn't realise you could call for um, assistance as to where to choose. So. When, in, out in the wild, you'll find things like um, materi building materials, weapons, crafting materials, uh, fuel, things like that. But you'll also find uh, rucksacks, which a, a character can carry one rucksack at a time, unless they've. Got but what these rucksacks do is um, they contain either a, a lot of building materials, a lot of me uh, medical supplies, and um, they can be dropped off at the at this, uh, storage unit in your base, and it adds to your your group's sort of total of that thing um, and it's quite important when I first played this game I was struggling really badly I was like I can't find medicine I can't find building materials my game was going to shit and then I realised that you know, because I just skipped over the tutorial you can radio for assistance and then it'll pretty much just tell you where where these things are likely to be located and you can go and find them and stuff um, right this is a survey point you just have to point out all the everything's going well here Point all the points of interest and sh give your character an idea of what's there. So that's fuel, there'll be loads of fuel there. Fuel station. An outpost Each location's got a, 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 once, you've, once you've, you've scouted it, it gives you a brief sort of description of what you're likely to find there and um, what supplies are going to be there and what, you know if you're looking for like food, if, if it's likely to have food there and stuff. Uh, is that right? That's all state serving, cool. Um, I'll go back down. It's another kind of game you can just. Um. Certainly, I could, maybe that's just some crap at it. <laughs> right, my hands are really sweaty. Why is that? So, what we do? Scavenge, ne scavenge nearby site for a rucksack of materials. Going back to the map, that's here. The map's quite. Um, I mean, I'll show you the whole map there. It's quite deceiving. Like, that looks really far away from where I am because the icons are quite small, but it's not really. Um, getting to the bottom of the map and stuff can be a bit, like getting all the way down here, or get to the other end of the map, depending on where your base is, that's my base there, can be a bit of uh, a chore, but it's, if you find vehicles and have plenty of fuel, it, it ends up not being that much of a, that much of a, a big deal. You can see that, like, of a run, it's going to take, I mean, you can see the shed across there, it's not going to take me to any time at all to get there. And again, this is a game to be savoured, it's not a fast-paced, like, thrill-a-minute game, it's, it's, a. Uh, you really have to take your time. Chop the zombies head off. My camera okay? Yeah, cool. Go here, so. Oh, you can see it on the map. If, if you're, if, like, I'm running, and if you run too much, it alerts zombies to your presence, obviously. Right, so I'll start walking for now on. Hello, anybody here? Of course it's locked. Seems to be clear. I'll turn my flash on. Search. Now when you search, you can press LB at fast search. It means obviously you search faster, but there's a chance that you'll make a lot of noise and attract zombies. I'm gonna play a slow game this time. See, there we go. There's a. Although I think I'm looking for materials, aren't I? Well, it's not really anything special. I'll take that. This is going to be Hit a me hard. Ooh, so that's a... So there you've got a, a briar pipe, stylish classic. It's, it's just it's a trade item. You've got a Molotov. Your characters have limited um, storage space on their person. I mean, like I said, vehicles you can get more. See, I want right, that. That's my... Right, I'm going to take that. What? Right. Take the power tools. Can I... I need to drop the backpack. How did I drop it? You know what? Oh no. Yeah, I'm gonna break it open. There you go. You can break open packs to get the uh, supplies. Done. Did it actually give me supplies? It did, but not very many. So once a once a building's fully searched, you can claim it as an outpost, and the outposts can be used to sort of as stopping points for your characters where they can sort of rest and get stuff out of the supply boxes that you've like your your overall supplies. Which sometimes is kind of crucial when you're 
in the middle of a fight for your life, you get back to one of your bases, you can restock your ammo or at least change your <laughs> change your weapon or something. Why is she getting so tired so quickly? If we did it, ship. Hey, error dodge. What does that mean? I have to rest. I've never seen that message before. Hmm? Your character has a on the bottom there. It's got a blue sort of a stamina bar and a red health bar. If you take some damage or uh, or you've you've pushed your character to its limits. Stamina wise, often um, these bars become permanently shrunk and you need to rest your character or seek medical attention in order to uh, to heal them up properly or they'll, or they'll just heal to the edges. Um, no so bad when it comes to... You know, I'll just store this. Uh, oh, that's nobody to store it. I made that mistake as well. This is the other thing. I never read the instructions to begin with. And uh, I came here and I'd keep dropping it off there and that's nowhere it goes. It goes in your supply bit here. See? Either a workshop or infirmary would be a good place to start. Um, a bit of a graphical fuck up on the light in there. Um, I, uh, I forgot what I was saying there. What was I saying? I was saying about dropping it off and, uh... I forgot. Oh well, it wasn't important. Nobody's watching anyway, so... <laughs> right, I'll, up I'll upgrade my base. Um, I will... Fix that. Not too long. And I will, hang on, can I fix this one as well? I don't have materials. Well, I don't have the people for it, actually. Right, so I'll leave that then. Um, I'll go dump the things I collected on my journey into the community storage locker. Oh, what's that? Facility mod. High powered, high quality tools, especially suited to garage or job site. Install this mod to a workshop to dramatically speed facility actions. Cool. Trade item. Um, um, I will take that actually. I'll put that in. I'll put that in. And I'll put that in. Because I don't like her song. Oh! I heard it, you bastard! Ah, I'm going to change my character. Oh wait, I have to fix it first. Oh well. <laughs> There we go. Oh, take another sip of my tea while that's going on. Her <sighs> hair, it's weird. Why does it glow with the light? Mental. Graphic F ups. How long's that going to take to fix? Three minutes. I still can't. Can I install? Oh, can. Build a workshop. I want a I'm glad we've already got a start on building infirmary this first. Something real. Here we go. I'll do that first. Um, easy way to do that. That's fine. Got time to well, she's doing that. Stay safe. I'll be there soon. Thanks. All right, who's this? Talk to Trenton, the strangers, to or oh, he's a stranger, to learn his group's need. If I remember, they want a. In the first mission, if it's the same as before the Juggernaut update, if they want a. I think they want food to begin with. And then they want. A play card. Oh, there you go, food. That will good. Creepers miles away must Being rushing that. it, so. Come on. Where be them zombies? I'm a little full There's more food. Oh. Go drop off this food and then go get the other one. My friends, I give you progress. Well done, girl. Well done. I'll go this way so I can start you building the. Oh, shut up. Even unfitter than I am? Right, let's see. I'll build. Craft explosives, fix weapons. I won't do that. I always do that. So I think I'm gonna. Build a watchtower. What are? I'm gonna build a garden. There we go. Executive decision made. <laughs> I should be more careful. I almost stop how depleted materials depleted facilities may break down. Med plies low. See, this is it. I'm so food. I'm, I've got plenty. And food's what I've found. So I'm gonna put that there. Right. Um. 
What do I need? This is a terrible start. I'm gonna radio. Radio, please. Uh, well, we've got food. We do medicine, but we've nothing Can to fight. Check to see if Ammo. anyone knows a good place to scavenge. A couple of seconds, I'll come back. Tell it is a good place to scavenge. Better way than that. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. That's not too far away. Sometimes it can be very, very, very far away and it's a pin in the backside. Right, let's do this. How far away is it? 200 metres. That's not too bad. <laughs> I can't hit it! There you go. Splatty, splatty. You're a meat patty. I need to move my cup of tea because I can't see my stamina bar. <laughs> Hang on. I'll put it on the floor so I can see my telly. Ugh. Keep what well, I keep pressing the left analog stick in to run, and that's why my car keeps like turning her torch off and on. All I've really got is my weapons and I've got Chemicals for crafting, and I've got some health items and stamina items. Although the stamina items are really weird, they... I mean, your stamina runs out really quickly, as you can see as I'm running. But it also regenerates just as fast, if you're standing still. I've always found it weird that you get stamina items, because they... They very rarely um, actually help you out. But then again, maybe I'm using them wrong. Oh wait, is this the... Huh? Hey. Oh, he wants to play examples. I've come to the wrong bit. I thought this was where I'd get the the search for stuff. But, uh, the safest way to yeah, we can do that. Is by killing plague zombies. There's a plague heart nearby. That whole area should be crawling with infected zombies. Pissing gun yet, mate? To get a bunch of samples. That's more dangerous. Ooh, this car works. Has it got fuel? Let's see. Is it running in the trunk? It's got a firecracker. <gasps> he said fuck. Helping out like this is oh, a good feel as well. Friends. Nice. Let's hope this pays off. We could use allies out here. Alright, so where am I going? Oh, fuck her off. Where are these? Well, here's one. Alright, we'll go that way. Once you find a car, it's a lot easier to pick up materials and stuff. Um. I'll drive here. That reminds me of one of the cars at Grand Theft Auto 3. <laughs> Someone must have picked through this place already. Squish. Oh, I've been bitten! Buddy, signs getting in my road! We'll heal up. Yeah. Let's search this place for some supplies. Oh, and we found it already. So through the window. <laughs> I'll take that to my vehicle. Um, you can. So, like I said, you can. You can plug. Why is it on it? What button is it to press? Store. Hey, I can store that in my vehicle. <coughs> Meaning I can now pick up another. Another. Rucksack, if I find one. Which is more than handy, because it stops you doing return trips. You can also, uh, I mean, if you've got a, a support character or a, or a, you know, you've got somebody chumming you, that you can give them one of the cases and then pick up another one. If I do. Marshmallows, I don't want those. Oh, not bad, I suppose. Another firecracker. I mean, they're all right. They do help. I've searched through everything here. Ninja hoodie. Okay. Carrying a bit much right now. I'll take all that stuff actually. At the start, when you're just doing these sort of grinding missions, it's better to pick everything up and just get back to your base. Is there no? I've searched everywhere, I have. Right, so out of here. Uh, I may as well search that other building that was marked. 
as soon as like, my car when it starts, like, oh my, oh, fuck. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a minute to talk about Jesus? You might actually find something good in here. Uh, I search containers, this one there. Arrowheads? Another jacket for some reason? Here, ooh, desk. Oh, someone's beat at the door again. <gasps> Weapons! Right, I need to go back out, because I definitely want to pick up that owl. Open the trunk, I'll put... Come on. I'll put you in, you in, you in, and... That was a medical textbook, like I was saying at the start. You, some of your characters can um, have empty skill slots. And what that means... Now, she, if I read that textbook, it'll fill the empty slot she's got. That's what she said. And uh, she learns that skill. Well, uh, definitely know I'm tailor some okay, of your skills as to I'm what you need. Home. Oh, there's an armor box. Oh, there's loads there. Was there too? What's that? That's almost as much as I can carry. I don't know, but I'm good. Right here. I need to prioritize what I want here because there's a lot of stuff there. Um. Right. Hang on. So what have I got? Light bolts, standard bolts. Uh, yeah. Right. I'm gonna drop these. Drop those. Uh, I'll store that. Right, I've got two slots. I'll leave the ammo case on the ammo rucksack on me. I definitely want that. Definitely want that. See, I want these as well. So I can take these because I've already got those. Um, oh, I'm just gonna have to. Bite the bullet, as it were. And... Right. Up that. And... I can store one of these. I can equip one of these, yeah, so that'll... Um... Reload my weapon should take away... Oh, any of those... Right, open that. That's now I can take that. I can take that, right. Cool! I've picked up loads of the weapons. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna jump from my car and head home because that was a, that was a that was a decent find. That was. I mean, it's not often you find that many supplies and stuff in one area. Um, so I'll go back to my base, which is there. That was a good one. Got two rucksacks and a shit ton of weapons. <laughs> I love doing that. Very easy to get your car damaged or destroyed or even even stuck in a trench, so be very careful. I'm just playing about because I'm doing it on stream and might not be boring. <laughs> now, need to park the car. Just all the way around here. Uh, ah, there. Now, we tip for you, instead of taking everything out of the car, try and put in your base, just do this. There we go, you can empty your truck from the truck, straight into, the, into your home base by pressing the right trigger. But I'm alright for medicine now, you can see at the top corner my medicine skills are a wee bit better. So I'll drop, I'll drop the ammo. Then what I'll do is I'll go here. Um, I'm going to equip the bow or the crossbow, and I'll keep those. So I will store that, store that, store that. 
Yeah, that'll do me. That's good. Um, yeah. Jobs are good. That was a that's a good haul. That was. Uh, no, I think the, she's finished building the, the other part of the base. So. No, I want to go to the empty part. Uh, and I'm going to build... I've got an infirmary, haven't I? So... Build a still. See there! I want to build a still <coughs> for making fuel. I need knowledge of chemistry. So if one of my characters can find that book, or I can recruit someone with that skill, then I can, I can build that. But until then... I'm humped. Morale and training. I was wanting water, to be honest. Build a rain collector. Yeah, I'm good. What? Oh, the build materials, bugger. Build the materials. I need materials, please. Let's see if someone knows where to get supplies. We've got people on it. Oh, tell me now, please. Well, now I get to it. Ah, oh, cool, that's dead close. Um, we'll take the car. No. Uh, yes, I will. I'll take the car just in case. I hope There's, I'll find more than one. One uh, rucksack, and it'll just be like him. Yeah, yeah, you lazy bit. This car's still got plenty of fuel, so. Lady of the night. Some of it might be useful. There's some shit out there. Stay away from the car, bitch. Just like in the Asda car park. Right, so I mean, it really. I thought it was. All, that's what I mean by the map being deceptive. It looked like if you look at the map, it looks like we're quite far away from our base. I don't see. But it's literally like two seconds walking. You don't see anything useful in there. What? Just from looking at the door. Made up your mind off a quick. Okay, hang on. Hey, man, then. Screws are your main sort of building materials, so try and collect them whenever you can. Um, in the early game, they're not too important, but they do become important. I'm fast searching because I don't care about zombies. Breathe easy. No more creepers here. Uh, so no searchy places in here. Where's the last container? Here. Oh no, zombie! Oh, there's always in this game look like members of Green Day. Don't wanna be an American idiot. Do, 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 do. I love Green Day. I assume there's one more container to search, but. I'm not being stupid. This is outside. Oh. There it is. Oh, so the flicker. Oh, shut up. Yep, there we go. Well, I could have, I could have passed on that, but I didn't. So that was worth it. And there's nothing wrong with me. This is how I'm supposed to be in a land of make believe. The don't believe in me. <laughs> Wasn't it Green Day Ages? I want to know. I remember when American Idiot came up. I was daft for it. Uh, and me and my cousin loved that album at the time. And we went to the nightclub in my local town, which at the time, I mean, it's still one of the best nightclub. Uh, certainly nothing you'd get in the cities or anything like that. Um, but we went in early. Uh, it's free entry to get in and we were skint. So we went in early. And uh, there was no one there, so we went to the DJ and we're like, Have you got American Idiot? He's like, Yeah. He's like, Can you play it? He's like, What songs? We're like, Just all of them, please. So he just put it on <laughs> the whole album. It was dead good. Me and my cousin, she's got our double vodka and coke, and I've got my pint on the dance floor, just dancing away to herselves. It was brilliant. They must have heard that. I'm heading back straight away. Story time with Retro Prime. There's nothing Searching here. Searching for the zombie gets here. There you go. 
go. Jo, kør for eksempel snart. No, he's dead. Where was the third place? Oh, is it gone now because I found it? Ah, bugger, I'll just go back to base now. I'm the king of angels. Little car. I'll just check it here as well. Angels on the river. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to play some games later on and <laughs> listen to that album, I think. It's in my head now. Wonderful. Oh, I've got pizza now as well. Um. I'll go back to the car and drop this off. And there's nothing wrong with me. I'm just busting for a pee. And it's nearly time to make my fucking tea. Dinner time. <laughs> it's dinner time. Like Miller time, but not as drunk. More ammunition, more bullets. Always welcome. Bullets are really. I'm finding quite a lot this run. Um, I've had runs where I can be a good hour into the game and I've not even seen one sort of this place seems safe gunner now. ammunition yet. Right, now I'm going to go home. That seems fair. Got a lot of stuff there again. Come on, in you go. Lights on. Uh, will I get through there? I don't think so. God, it reminds me of my first driving lesson. <laughs> it really does. That's shocking. <laughs> I learned to drive when I was, like, so I've been driving three years now, so 37, I want to say. Maybe 38? I think I was 37. Um, I can barely walk in a straight line. I get lost in my hometown, so I, would, I really thought I don't want to drive. I'm too scared. I'm, too, I'm not. I've got not got enough focus. Um, you know, I'll just do this. This. There we go. Um, and I, I really didn't want people in, and myself in danger. But as it turns out, my wife, when I met her before she was before she was my wife, that's bullshit. After she became my wife, she um, convinced me to to take lessons, and I was shocking at first, really, really bad. Um, to the point where whenever I had a driving lesson, I'd always I'd, I'd usually get two hour lessons, which is a lot, but I, that's what I did. And uh, I'd drive from my hometown, which I know fairly well, I lived there all my life, most of my life I've moved away and come back and stuff. And I thought to myself, I can't do this, I'm so scared, but it, it really did turn out that it was my instructor. Was just not the very best for me, he, he, he didn't give me confidence, he certainly didn't uh, Make me feel confident. Every time I he thought I was going to do something wrong, he'd reach for the wheel like it, like I was going to crash, and I'd freak out. And it was quite, it was quite daunting. And, I, and after like spending like what three, four hundred quid with him, and an update. No, not withdraw the rucksack. I want to update my idea. Why not? Because it costs six. Fuck! I need more materials. Um. I after. No, I think what happened on my thirty seventh birthday, my wife. My 36th birthday, my wife got me a bunch of lessons with him. And uh, he was did that thing where he says, Oh, we, you know, this is all you'll need, uh, whatever it, blah, blah, blah. And after, it was literally like 30 or 40 lessons with him. I was, I couldn't drive. Couldn't go on the road myself without panicking. Certainly didn't really like going out with the wife. And if we did, it was to an industrial estate where, where I knew I was going to be okay because there was no one else about because it was after sort of business hours. Um, I'm just going to explore somewhere. Let's see. Survey point? Was that another survey point? That's weird. Two survey points in a row. I'll just explore, I'll just explore there for the sake of it. Um, aye, and I, I couldn't go on the road and I wouldn't go out and I was, I, I just said to my wife, I can't, I can't drive, I just can't do it. So then we moved to a place in closer towards Edinburgh, the best city in the world. <laughs> uh, a place called West Linton. And when we were there, she got me another instructor and she contacted him and says, look, my husband's, he's, you know, he's in his late thirties, he's had lessons, but he's really not confident, he doesn't think he's, he can be on the road. What can you do? And he says, well, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll sit and have a lesson with him, we'll go drive him for an hour, and then we'll see how he is. And when I started, the minute I got in the car with him, he's like, how bad are you? How good are you? And I told him, I says, look, I've not got very much confidence. Um, 
and I believe it's because my, my instructor never really gave me confidence. Not that I'm blaming my, my old instructor, but he certainly didn't he help. And he's like, right, we'll see what we'll see what happens. And like an hour and a half later, he's like, you can drive, you can drive fine. And I did. I felt like I, I was like, oh, I feel like I can drive. I felt better about it. And then like I think it was maybe eight lessons after that, I got my uh, my test, which was awesome, and I passed it. Well, actually, I failed my. I can't see a thing in this. It's too dark. I failed my first driving test. Um, but I maintain it was the instructor's fault. The the the, the, the and again, instructor's fault, because what happened was we were driving. We had to, uh, when I so when I when I went to see this new instructor, he says, right, you got two choices. You can either learn to drive in the in the town you live in, which is quiet with loads of country roads, and it'll be easy, or you can challenge yourself. Drive around Edinburgh, a busy city centre where there's loads of roundabouts and dual carriageways and all this kind of stuff. And I said, sod it, let's just jump in at the deep end, let's let's go on the bypass at Edinburgh, you know, and do all that kind of stuff. So we did, and I'm glad I did. But my test, uh, after like eight lessons, and after like four lessons, I was driving, like my, my, my driving lessons would just be, he'd get in the car, I'd get in the car, he'd get in the car, he'd go, right, drive, and then we'd drive for an hour, and he'd, he'd kind of give me pointers as to what I could do better and stuff but it really didn't feel like I was on a lesson it just felt like I was driving with somebody who was like sort of giving me hints on how to improve my driving rather than being tutored and uh so I had my first test everyone was going fine I was sweating like a bitch and uh, it was a really 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 warm day and Friday morning uh rush hour traffic in Edinburgh and my instructor was an older guy and he was sweating his tits off like really 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 sweating, I could I could visibly see the sweat under his arms and under his man boobs and stuff. And uh, he kept opening his window, like putting his window down. And when he did, the, the noise of the traffic was really off putting. And I said to him at one point, Can you put your window up, please? Uh, and he was like, Oh, yeah, sorry. Then he put it down again. Anyway, my route on my test was like, You have to go, it's, it's, I'm not even sure how to describe it to somebody who's known, who known, who's not native to Edinburgh, but. So it's this uh, journey, and it's like in the same 20 minute stretch of road, there's like f nine massive roundabouts. And I'd done two or three, then he says, Right, on the next roundabout, I want you to take the third exit. And I was like, Okay. So gets in the right lane, flicks my indicator on. And uh, we get to the roundabout, and he's like, Which way are you going? And I was like, Third, third, I will. Are you going to let people know? And I was like, What? And then I'm going through the round. I'm going to cross the roundabout, and I think, oh shit, maybe maybe I'm, I've no indicator earlier enough to, to indicate I'm coming off, so I changed my indicator. Turns out what happened was. When I'd flicked my indicator on, it hadn't went on properly. And uh, because he'd had his window down, I couldn't hear that it went off. Not really his fault. I, was, I mean, I should have been paying super attention because it was my, my test. But I'd clicked it on. I'd heard it go click, 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 click. Checked the light. And then I was, I mean, it was on my test. I was looking about, going, well, right, what's next? Where am I going? So, I, I firmly believe, I'd have, and that was, my, that was my major fail because I'd, I'd went over the roundabout without indicating the right direction. So it was one major and that was it. Boom. I, f I truly believe if his window had been up, I'm gonna go. I need fuel, so I'm gonna go here, and I, I'm gonna take the car. Uh, if he's if he's window been up, I'd have heard my indicator click off, and I'd have been like, "Oh bugger, the indicator's not on," and I'd, and I've corrected it, as it was, I failed, and um, I was dead pissed off. I told my instructor about it, and he's like, oh, that, "That was that was shocking. It shouldn't have happened." Ah uh, yeah, shop. Then second test. Uh, super, not confident. Really thinking, uh, what's the point? I I'm never gonna be able to do this. Um, I've got poor self confidence as anyway, but and then went round. Second test was a lot better. A few issues though. There was what the hell am I doing? The uh, we, we came to a busy junction in Edinburgh where a car had broken down or a bus had broken down right at the. I'm trying to take a shortcut, it's not gonna work. Can I turn the, the brightness up in this? I can't see a thing. Just gamma. Um, I would come at a busy junction where a bus, or I think it's like a minibus, had broken down just at the junction uh, exit, and I was like, "What am I going to do?" So I'm in the inside lane, same lane as the bus, and the outside lane's just going vroom, 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 shooting past me, and not one person goes to let me out. My instructor looks out the window, and and he's trying to like flag folk to stop. But no one's doing it because it's Edinburgh and everyone's an ignorant bastard. And uh, so eventually she's like, right, just go. <laughs> to just go. <laughs> or do you something to do? So once that happened, I thought, oh, that's me, I'm pumped. Uh, I also stalled. I am. Um, 
there was a, a, a come down a curved sort of road, which I knew quite well. Oh, I've got the plague. That's what I'm talking and not paying attention. And uh, because obviously your tests on this basically the same route as your your lessons. Coming down this road that I've done a million times, and then I get round a corner, and all of a sudden there's there's traffic lights, and there was no sign up to say that they were coming, so I just put my brake on and I, I, I let the clutch up too too early, and the car stalled. I mean, I, I started back. I hope it was fine. Everyone was everyone was grand, but I was convinced I'd failed. And uh, I got a minor for that for uh, clutch control, and a minor for. Um, been at an inappropriate distance for the car in front on the on the dual carriageway, or well, the bypass there, Edinburgh. So two minors. I was chuffed, and I've been driving her since. Not really anything special. Yeah, <laughs> shut up. Seems like she's talking to me. <laughs> and uh, I, it's something I love doing. Oh, I mean, with this lockdown, I've no, I hadn't driven in three weeks. For me, don't mind if I do. Oh, fuel. That's what I was looking for, wasn't it? Um. I went out yesterday and had a, a long drive just to sort of clear my head, and it was good. I was telling, I was talking about this for a reason, wasn't I? I just can't remember what it was. Right, if you look at my character, I've just noticed she's shattered. She's she's about to pass out. You can see down by her stamina bar, bar it's got the Zs. So I'm gonna take her home, get her to her bed, and then I'll, I'll be the end of this game because I fund, I fund all this all the supplies that you can kind of get to begin with. I don't know. There we go. I'm the king and angel love. Really pissing dark. Is it just because I've got I've got my curtains open so I can you can get out of the camera gets a lot enough light to sort of pick me up well, but I feel like um a lot darker than it normally is. Maybe that's something to do with the, the juggernaut update. Yeah there. Come on going. Here we go. I'll do that. Nothing in the car. <laughs> she knows. Our hair, that hair light well, glitch is really <laughs> pissing me off. It's something there we go, so I've got food, I've got medical supplies, I've got ammo, some uh, building materials and a bit of fuel, so all's good in the hood. That's a good place to leave it off actually. Right it here. Ready to go on my next mission. So the next thing I want to do is uh, get a plague heart because my my lass has got the plague. Has she? Oh no, she's she's on her way. So she's got a temperature just now that could lead to the plague if she doesn't get treated. And you know what? I think I might just treat myself so that doesn't happen. Use infirmary. Medical help for me. That didn't help. Oh dear, I've just wasted three medical supplies. Oh, I wordled. Anyway, there we go. Mm. That'll do for now. Um, I'll come back to this again soon. Thank you for watching, if you do. And, uh, I'll see you all soon. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee